Hey guys, make sure to check out Flyaway Simulation. It's got loads of great stuff, including freeware downloads for FFX, the latest aviation news, forums, and a whole lot more. That's flyawaysimulation.com or just search Flyaway Simulation. Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos. Today I'm going to be bringing you a much requested video on this channel which is basically how to install freeware aircraft onto FSX uh, whether it's got a readme file or hasn't I'll be showing you both ways plus a few more things. So here is how to install freeware aircraft onto FSX. <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need to go into your uh, FSX folder first, okay, just to get it ready. So yours will probably be under your C drive, so this one here, Program Files x86, not just Program Files, the one below it with x86. Alright, and then just scroll down and then you'll see a folder called Steam. So I'm just going to go into that now. Okay, so once you're inside the Steam folder, mine's just located in the D drive, in the D drive. So it's slightly different. Go down to Scheme Apps, just here, it's near the bottom of the folders. Then go into Common, and then your game. So as you can see, I've got a few games on FSX because I've got my other multi gaming channel now uh, on Scheme. So going to FSX, and then scroll down and click on Sim Objects. This is pretty much where your add ons will go. So obviously this episode uh, is showing you how to install aircraft, so you're going to airplanes and then this is all of the aircraft that you've got in FSX, all of them. So they're all here including the default ones. So that's just that folder there ready. Then you're going to want to obviously download an aircraft. So I've just picked this one here from Flyaway Simulation. Uh, so it tells you some details about it, it might put the instructions on how to install it here, but if not that doesn't, don't worry about it. So just click download there. Most websites have a free download and a uh, faster download. But if you just click on download or if you're on pro and then it'll download there. And uh, then you can just click that and open it up. Okay, so once you've opened it up, uh, if you've got this program in school, this is how it looked like. But otherwise it would just look like it's in a normal file explorer window. Uh, so you've got some files here. These two come with all flyaway simulation ones, so you don't really need them. But usually I would just say extract the entire lot. So usually in when you've got this sort of software, you can just literally drag it across and that'll extract it like that. So you can just drag it to any file, any folder, like I have here, just the desktop here, and that's fine just like that. So then open up the folder, just like this one here, and you'll be given more folders. So for this example that I'm showing you, it hasn't given you a README file. If it has given you a README file, then open that up and go through the instructions, which is what I'll show you later. So this one hasn't. So all you need to do for this one, usually, like 9 out of 10 times, you can just literally drag and drop this file into the FSX location that I already opened up, which is just here. So these are all your aircraft, so you can literally just bring that in there and copy it in. And then there it is, it's in there like that. And that should work 9 out of 10 times. If it doesn't, it usually means that you need your textures, sounds, or things like that moved over, which I'll just show you now. So I've got another add-on here, which is a space shuttle. Again, you just take all the files and extract them to a temporary uh, folder on your computer anywhere you like it doesn't matter I'm just using the desktop for convenience uh, so with this one again those two files don't really matter so you've got these two files here screenshots they are literally just screenshots so you don't need them so you're left with this shuttle folder so if I just open that up it has got a readme file here now this one is actually um, an internet file a HTML file so, but usually it will be on a notepad file like this one here where you can just open it up and it comes up like this although it's less complicated obviously so if you can still open up the readme file just like this one here which is a HTML file it will then give you instructions installation drag the entire contents of this archive to flight simulator x forward slash sim objects slash so backward slash uh, aeroplanes so that's all you need to do which basically means take this shuttle file 
and put it in there. And then again, you just take that file and drag it in like that. And there you go, I've just installed two aircraft, as simple as that. So, what happens if you've got some textures files, texture files or effects or sound files? I'm not going to show you a specific example, but I will just show you how to do it. This one you don't actually need to do it, but if you were to do it, this is how it's done. So you go into the texture folder and it will tell you if you have to do this. So if it doesn't say do this, then don't do it in the readme file. You would then just highlight all of the textures, copy them, into go back into FSX, the main root folder here, Ski Maps Common FSX, then go into textures and just paste them in there. It's the same process for all three kinds. Mainly it's sound and effects that you have to do them for. This one doesn't have an effects folder, but if it did, it's the same thing. You go into sound or you go into effects, you take them all, you copy them, you go into the sound folder or effects folder on here, and you paste them in. It's as simple as that, and that's all you need to do to install files into FSX. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. If you did, please remember to press the like button. If you didn't, please comment or contact me in some other way as I will try and help you out as this is pretty much the way to do it for almost every single add-on and it should definitely work. But So if, you, if, you, if it didn't work for you, just leave a comment or message me or email me or something like that. So please remember to take a look at my other channel, Tectonic, which is brand new. And uh, please remember to follow me on Twitter. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. And thank you for watching.